In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called solving a word problem using a 3x3 three three system of linear equations, problem type 1. We're told first that Yoko, Greg, and Kareem have a total of $66 in their wallets. So I'm going to start with that. And since we have three people, Yoko, Greg, and Kareem, for variables, I'll use Y, G, and K. And I know that the total that they have, so adding up what everyone has in their wallets, we have $66. So that's our first equation. Then we're told that Kareem has two times what Greg has. So Kareem, in his wallet, he has twice what Greg has. So we would take Greg's value, multiply by two, that would give us Kareem's value. And then the last part, Greg has $6 less than Yoko. So Greg, he has $6 less than Yoko. So if we took Yoko's value, Y, we would subtract 6 from that to get Greg's amount in his wallet. So we have three variables here, Y, G, and K, but we have three equations. So this is a 3 by 3 system of linear equations. To solve, I can use either substitution or elimination. However, since the second and the last equations are already solved for G and K, I'm going to use substitution. I'll start, I'll start by substituting K into the top equation. We know that K is 2 times G. So making that substitution in the top equation, Y plus G, replacing K with the second equation, k is 2 times g, so this would be plus 2 times g equals the 66 in the top equation. We've got a 1g plus a 2g, so we can add these g values and simplify that y plus 3g equals 66. And now I see that the last equation is already solved for g. I can make that substitution into this new equation, and we would have y plus 3 times g, but we see that g is y minus 6 equals 66. Solving here, we would start by distributing, so we would have y 3 times y would be 3y, three, 3 times a minus 6, minus 18 equals 66. Common terms again, y plus 3y, 4y, Isolating the y, I would add the 18 to both sides. These would cancel, leaving me with 4y equals 84. 66 plus 18 would be 84. Dividing by 4 on both sides, y equals 21. So we have our first solution. y is 21. Yoko has $21. And from here, if I look at this last equation, we were told that Greg has 6 less than Yoko, so substituting now that I know that y is 21, g would be 21 minus 6, so g is 15. That's our second variable, so Greg has 15. Now that we know Greg's, we can look back at that middle equation, k. Kareem has twice as much as Greg, so 2 times 15 would mean that Kareem has $30. So we have found all three, Greg, Kareem, and Yoko's money. 